I have been working very hard lately to try and figure out how to increase my energy. As the winter comes around, I always feel a little low. My energy starts to drop because I'm not getting as much sunlight and I'm not getting outside as much. But as I was reading Austin Kleon's book, Show Your Work, he actually describes something I realized I did a long time ago, but I never put a name to it. When you use this simple technique, you're going to increase your energy overall and start feeling energized all the time. So if you're feeling a little low because it's winter or you just wanna increase your energy overall, this is the video to watch, so don't miss out. Here's a simple trick you can use to increase your energy. It starts by asking yourself the question, what are the things that drain me of energy and what are the things that gain me energy? This is what author Austin Kleon calls the vampire test. We've all been around a person or done a hobby or had a job that leaves us feeling completely exhausted afterwards. Once you start to notice the things that give you energy or drain you of energy, you can start doing less of the things that drain you and start doing more of the things that excite you. And when you do more of those things that give you energy, you're going to feel more energy overall throughout your life. So the vampire test is a great way to increase your energy. So how do you put the vampire test into action? The first thing you need to do is write it down. Literally take a piece of paper and start to make a list of all the things that drain you of energy, the things that make you feel emotionally exhausted afterwards. Is it talking to a coworker you don't want to? Is it doing something at work or a task at home you don't like? Is it talking to a parent that makes you uncomfortable? It could be anything, whatever it is, make a list of it as long as you can make it. Once you understand what drains you of energy, you bring that awareness to your mind so you can start avoiding it in the future. The next thing you need to do is start writing what are the things that excite you, that give you energy. It could be exercising or hanging out with friends or maybe eating delicious food. Whatever it is, start writing it down. Once you bring that awareness, you're going to do more of it. So write it down so you can actually see it in front of you. Now, once it's written down, you have to start creating a plan of how you're going to do more of the things that give you energy and less of the things that drain you of energy. So literally create time throughout your week of doing more things that give you energy. Let's say it's exercising. You need to set times throughout your week and make a plan of how much you're going to exercise in the week so that you can get more energy out of it. And for the things you don't like doing, Maybe some of those things you can completely scratch off and stop doing them. So if it's talking to a coworker you don't want to, avoid that as much as possible. But some of those things that drain you of energy, we can't completely get around or get rid of. Sometimes you have to talk to that boss you don't want to. So when that time comes, it's important to come up with a plan of how you're going to deal with it. Maybe if you have to talk to your boss, you talk yourself up beforehand or afterwards, you do something that gives you energy so that you get that energy back. Whatever it is, come up with an actionable plan of if you've gotta do something that drains you, what are you gonna do before it and what are you gonna do after it to give you that energy back. Once you've created a list and you've created a plan, you've brought it into your awareness and you're gonna start doing more of the things that give you energy and less of the things that drain you of it. The more you do of the things that give you energy, the more energized you're going to feel. So it's not as difficult as you think. It can be very simple, but the first step is bringing that awareness so that we can do more of the things that excite us in life. That's the vampire test and it works. Trust me, I've been using it. Once you cancel out those negative things, you start to feel more positive all the time. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my YouTube page as I'm gonna keep these coming out every week. And please share this with other people because you never know who could benefit from it. See you all soon.